Hello, my name is Maggie, and today we're going to be doing a book haul. It's been a long time, I know. Like, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to post as videos anymore, so if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments. Um, well, let's just get into it. Um, I have a few things that are not bookish. I mean, they're bookish, but they're not actual books. Um, hold on. And... I just wanted to share them with you and whatever, so, um, I got a few bookmarks here, um, and one of them says, reading is my escape to a better world, which is really true, and I can't see that because of the glare, but, um, I love the rest, and I also have another bookmark that says, I have no self-control, and obviously, very true. <laughs> And along with its book, I got The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and also the bookmark that says The Great Gatsby. I like large parties. They're so intimate. At small parties, there isn't any privacy. And then there's two kitties. Anyway, um, I actually have a couple of bags um, here that I got. One I got at Barnes & Noble, and the other I got at Target when it was Prime Month. Um, and I thought I needed them, and of course, I had to buy them. This just says Book Nerd on it, with that kind of a print, and the that kind of a heart. So, I love it. Obviously, I'll definitely be using it when I go book shopping. And the same with this bag, which obviously says so many books and so little time, which is very true. So, and it just says the same thing on both sides. Um, obviously, I love tote bags, so there you go. Um, this next book I actually have, I've been wanting for a very long time, and it's Ro um, Roll With It by Jamie Sum Jeannie Sumner, and I know that it has a character who has cerebral palsy, so Hopefully I'll actually read it, which is a, which I obviously has great, um, <laughs> disability representation, that's what I meant to say, and whatever, so, yeah, and this next book I also have been wanting for a very long time, and it's Hello Universe by Erin Entrada Kelly, so, I actually saw this at Barnes & Noble once, and then when I went back, um, another day was gone. But I thankfully got this book and roll with it on Amazon. So, yeah. Anyway, um, this next book I actually also got at Barnes & Noble. Um, when I cashed out, um, the person who ca was cashing me out was a black person, and I forget their name, but, um... They were, like, very good choice, and obviously I was actually really proud of myself. I really need to, um, read more books about people of color and the LGBTQ+, plus, LGBTQ plus community and people of, uh, who have certain disabilities and other stuff, but anyway. Um, but the book I'm about to talk about is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. And, obviously, I need to read more books about people of color and educate myself. So, you're welcome. Um, this next book, I actually have gotten um, multiple books by this author. And I love him and his family. I love his sister. Um, I don't know them personally, but I just want to um, hug them all and love them even more. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's... Tom Fletcher's The Danger Gang, and I have actually given, there's a blank in your book, like the, there's a monster in your book for my nieces and nephews by him, and they love them, so I just needed to get this book as well and read the rest of his books that are YA and whatever, so, um, yeah. So the next book, uh, this is the only book out of this haul that I've actually read. <laughs> But I actually read this when I was in, I think, my about to go into my senior year of high school, so back in 2008. Yes, <laughs> I'm that old. 
But um, it's The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I got the hardback. Um, I love this book, and I needed to add this to my collection. Anyway. Um, and this next book, I actually kind of just bought it on a whim, and I obviously know what the, synops the, what the book's about. But, um, and it really seems intriguing to a bit intriguing to me. So, um, if you read the other book from this author, then you literally know what their writing is. And it's One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. Um, obviously I've never read anything by her other than what I'm about to read. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, everyone has been raving about that one. And this next book I'm about to talk about. And... I wanted the hardcover, because everywhere, I feel like everywhere has the paperback instead. I mean, I, I'm not against paperbacks, but, um, the one, the paperback has that short, um, part of the cover, and I hate that, so I wanted the hardcover instead, and obviously, the house, uh, at, in the Gerillion Sea, um, is what I'm talking about, and I'm holding it by T.J. Kloon, and obviously everyone's been raving about it, so you're welcome. Um, hopefully I'll actually read it someday. Um, and so this next book, I actually read Simon vs. Loma Sapiens earlier this year during Pride Month, hashtag June, um, and I loved it. I, list, I just loved it. And I also got Katie in Waiting earlier this, earlier this year, so I obviously needed this next book. Um, and it's the ups, Upside of Unrequited by Ebby, by Becky Albertalli. I don't know how to speak today. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, hopefully I'll actually read this and her other books. So, um, and this next book, I, I, I want to say that I wanted it for a long time, but that's not, I don't think that's even true. So, um, it's, it's not a secret. It's not like it's a secret by Misha Sugara. I'm not sure if that's even pronounced correctly, and I'm sorry if I butchered it. But, just, it just really looks good. I think I read the synopsis on Amazon or something, and then I was just like, I'm hooked. I need to get this book and read it. So, um, yeah. This next book, I, I think I got it at Barnes & Noble when it first came out, maybe? I don't know. I don't really remember. But, um... I got Love in English by Maria E. Andrew. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce her last name, but, um, or their last name. And I, I think I read the synopsis and then I just needed to buy it. So, there you go. Anyway, and, um, this next book, I actually have read only one book by this author, which is really sad, because I have almost all of her books. And I need to get on reading her books anyway. And I have Take Me Home Tonight by Morgan Matson. And I've only read Since You've Been Gone by her. So I really need to get on reading her books. So, yeah. Um, so this next book, I actually have her first book, which was obviously a success for people who have read it and liked it. And she's a big booktuber, and whatever I love her. She, um, I'm talking, and I'm talking about Better Together by by Christine Riccio, and I obviously need to read her books. So yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's it. I hopefully I'll see you soon, and yeah. So um, have a good day. Bye.